Hi boys, Bear Games here. How's everyone doing today? So recently I'm playing GTA 5 online on Xbox. And let tell you something. It's extremely difficult to keep up without the right gears that I have here on PC platform. Also I'm pretty broke there. So that's why in this video I'm going to show you a must have cars in GTA 5 online. I have 9 vehicles on this list. Number 9 on this list. It's the Armored Karuma, it's famous car and extremely useful especially for new players. Because it's so cheap it will cost you 500,000 GTA 5 dollars. And it's 90% bulletproof, so if you're a new player that's your key to pass missions and got more money I have to mention that even high level players are still using this car to do some mission, preparation of heists. The only problem with this car it cannot take any kind of explosive. Whoa. Number 8 in this list it's the Night Shark. The Night Shark is a formidable armored SUV in GTA 5 Online, designed for those who crave both protection and firepower. With a sleek, aggressive design, this vehicle boasts heavy armor plating making it resistant to gunfire and explosives. Its front-mounted machine guns provide a potent offensive capability, allowing players to fend off threats while navigating the chaotic streets of Los Santos. Whether you're in a heated battle or simply cruising the city, the Night Shark ensures you do so in style while staying well protected. We are still in the armored vehicles session. Number 7 in the list it's the insurgent pickup truck. You can get it from Warstock's carry and cash for 1.3 million dollars without counting the customization and parts price. The insurgent pickup custom in GTA Online is a robust armored off-road vehicle designed for intense combat situations. Boasting exceptional durability, it has become a popular choice among players for both its defensive capabilities and versatility. With reinforced armor, the Insurgent Pickup Custom can withstand a substantial amount of gunfire and explosive damage, making it a formidable choice for missions, heists, and PvP engagements. Its popularity is further elevated by its ability to transport a group of players safely through hostile environments. However, while it provides formidable protection, sustained heavy firepower or multiple explosive hits are required to bring this beast to a halt. The Insurgent Pickup Custom is a symbol of resilience in the chaotic streets of Los Santos. Number 6 in the list it's the Buzzard. A useful helicopter in the game. It's a reasonable price chopper 1.7 million dollars. The CEO Buzzard is a nimble and versatile helicopter available in GTA 5 online. It gained immense popularity due to its association with CEO organizations, offering CEOs and their associates a quick and reliable air transportation option. 
the Buzzard is equipped with homing rockets and a machine gun, making it a formidable asset for VIP work and CEO missions. In terms of durability, the CEO Buzzard is relatively sturdy but not invincible. It can withstand a moderate amount of damage, but sustained attacks can eventually bring it down. Pilots should exercise caution during hostile encounters, but its speed and agility often allow for effective evasive maneuvers. Overall, the CEO Buzzard remains a favored choice among players for its practicality and combat capabilities in the dynamic world of GTA Online. Fifth place it's the well-known Turwador. This beast it's available to purchase on Warstock's carry and cash for $4.2 million. The Tariador in GTA Online is a submersible sports car with a unique set of features. Popular for its versatility, it seamlessly transitions between land and water, making it a go-to choice for players seeking both speed and functionality. The Tariador is equipped with missiles and a built-in machine gun, adding offensive capabilities to its impressive mobility. The Tariador has gained attention for its distinctive design and underwater capabilities, making it a sought-after vehicle among the GTA Online community. Regarding durability, the Tariador is relatively resilient. While it's not indestructible, it can withstand a moderate amount of damage before being destroyed, offering players a good balance between offensive power and defensive capabilities. Plus to that it's extremely useful in PvPs. I smashed a lot of oppressor MK2 boys using this vehicle. The tracking on those missiles is insane. I highly recommend it above the Deluxo. In fourth place all Amani Tech vehicles. There are a bunch of different cars some of them are in my channel check them out. Anyway here I got the Buffalo STX, a pretty good looking car. So as we know Amani Tech system prevent you from getting locked on by other people who use missiles, add to that all of Amani Tech vehicles have some good resistance, one homing missile it's not going to blow the car up. Owning one of Amani Tech cars means you can roll out in public session without the fear of someone looking for destroying you especially oppressor MK2 boys. In third place I got the Raiju, also known as the fastest jet currently in the game. It's actually in sale by the time I'm recording this video. I mentioned that in weekly cars update video. Go check it after this it's less than one minute long. The Raiju is a cutting edge jet in GTA 5 Online known for its sleek design and impressive speed. While it may not be as popular as some other aircraft in the game, it has garnered a following among enthusiasts who appreciate its unique features. 
the Raiju is equipped with devastating homing missiles, making it a formidable opponent in aerial combat. In terms of durability, the Raiju can withstand a moderate amount of damage before being destroyed. However, its popularity isn't as widespread as some other jets in the game, partially due to its specialized nature and the availability of other more versatile aircraft. Pilots who master the Raiju's capabilities can unleash its potential, but it may not be the go-to choice for everyone in the vast skies of Los Santos. What makes this jet so special it's it have stealth mood like the Akula however it's a lot faster and easy to maneuver. And it's have vital mood that helps a lot in compacts. I did a full review about it I will include it in the description below. In second place, it's the Sparrow, literally the fastest helicopter in the game. This vehicle it's so useful easy to fly it have unlimited missiles. But to own it you must own a Kasotka submarine. It worth 1.8 million dollars. It worth every penny of it. The only weak thing about it's the fact that it's so weak one missile and it's dad. I highly recommend it. Thank me later. I know you saw this coming. In first place I got the extremely overpriced Oppressor MK2. This flying bike it's extremely useful especially in doing preps for mission or heists so easy to drive or in other words you will get used to it. However to own it you must own a terabyte truck. And to own a terabyte truck you must own a nightclub property. Quiet a lot of things to buy it. If you don't own one I highly recommend that don't buy it, it's extremely overpriced. Unless if you have a lot of money to spend. Alright guys that's all what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video of today. If you did enjoy, give it a thumbs up. That will help me a lot. Subscribe for more stuff like this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bear Games signing the video off. Peace out, boys.